been here for going on two years. September will make two years for us. So I'll show you the trailer and some of our smokers. Follow me. A year ago, uh, we got slammed. I mean, the line would be from right here at this window, probably 40, maybe 50 people deep before we open at 11.30, just a line of people waiting. We had one cashier at this window, and then another person that would send orders out through this other little window compartment that's over here, and the line would take forever. So we've got two cashiers here now, one big takeout window. Uh, I've got our menu up here, so as folks are waiting in line, they can decide what they want. By the time they get to the window, they're able to place their order. So it uh, works out really well. So uh, let's check out the smokers. This first smoker right here, it doesn't look like much, but it is a machine. This smoker, I mean, it's just great. It cooks really well. And this is called Little Lee. See a little basic uh, grate in there that we set the wood up on. We shovel those ashes out, get a tremendous amount of airflow, and this thing can cook an incredible batch of meat on it, all right? This one, this one's called Big Lee. But this is a rotisserie, so everything rotates through that smoke chamber. It's got a firebox on the back part of the smoker, and it does an incredible job. We put brisket on here, pork shoulders, beef ribs, chicken, you name it. We put everything on here. But this is a fun one. This one's got a real cool story. This smoker is probably the one that I'm the most proud of. Those other two, they have a really special place in my heart, but this smoker means a lot to me. Again, nothing fancy. There's no special equipment. There's no magic, anything other than a ton of love, a ton of care, and a, a really well thought out philosophy on what barbecue should be. You want to pull smoke and heat across the grill grates really evenly. That's how you get a nice even cook on your meats. We got some really great uh, temp gauges on here. Knowing what temp you're cooking at is really important. Every week we bring out the power washer and we blast this thing. You notice no weird foul odor came out of here from just meat grease and meat chunks hanging out you know, from, you know, from week to week while we're cooking. Our team takes a tremendous amount of care to get this thing cleaned down and it's ready for a batch of meat to go on it right now. The grill grates are super clean. Let me show you the firebox. This is the important part. We're talking barbecue, right? We've got to talk about fire. This is where we build our fires at and our fires can last for, uh, well, the heat that our fires uh, produce can last up to about 48 hours. The wood that we source is really good wood. This is all central Florida oak. It's a variety of red and white oak, comes from live oak trees, laurel oak trees. And there isn't such a thing as dirty smoke. There's clean smoke and dirty smoke. And clean smoke is gonna equal really tasty barbecue. Dirty smoke is gonna equal barbecue that probably tastes something like an ashtray. So we've got wood that burns really, really well. Let's go check out the trailer. You're gonna look around this trailer, you're not gonna find anything fancy. But what you will find uh, on the days that we're prepping food and the days that we're serving food is an incredibly talented and committed team that's working super hard to serve you guys whenever you show up. This is where we hold our meats once they come off of the smoker. This keeps them at a nice hot temp uh, so you're never getting cold meat from us. Uh, and that's pretty much it. There's a bunch of supplies in here and things of that sort, a couple of air conditioners to keep us cool on those hot Florida uh, summer days. A little trophy that we won back in 2013, which was the catalyst to really push us into the business side of barbecue. I did not want to compete in this uh, competition, but my amazing wife, Patrice, she really urged me. Uh, my own toughest critic and she said you know what you have nothing to lose you should go for it and we ended, up, we ended up sweeping that entire competition so if you got some sort of dream or goal that you're a little bit scared or intimidated of I'd say go for it you probably don't have much to lose.